This is Excel 2016, Module 6, Part 1. In Module 6, we are going to be working with multiple worksheets, learning how to link those together in formulas, as well as working with multiple workbooks and learning how to build formulas that access information in other workbooks, which is other files. So let's get started working with multiple worksheets. And the file that we're going to begin with has the name of Michigan. So it has our Michigan workbook. And where we need to be is on quarter one. So you can see in quarter one, we have several different, um, looks like revenue sections of rental income. And we need to review and see how we can format these. <coughs> Excuse me. You see that we have quarters one, two, three, and four. And they're all laid out the same way. So we can use a feature called grouping to allow us to format these as one unit instead of formatting them individually. So in order to create a group of worksheets, what you're going to do is click on the first one in the group, which is quarter one, hold the shift key down, and then click on the last one in the group, which is quarter four. You can see when you do this, it highlights all four groups, or excuse me, all four worksheets. They all have an underline underneath them, and the word group is up here next to the file name. Anytime you see that word group, any change you are making, you are making to all of the worksheets in the group. So for example, if I discovered that the January say, rental income for child care centers had the wrong dollar amount in it, I would not want to type a new number in this cell because if I did that, the number in quarter two in cell B6 would change to the same value I typed in. So the changes you make here have to be changes that you want to happen on every single worksheet. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. We're going to start out by clicking in B, excuse me, B12 and add the function to auto sum. Then I'm going to copy that formula to columns C and D. And I'm using the fill option to do that. In E6, I am going to put a sum function in to add the numbers in that row. And then I'm going to drag that down all the way to column 12 so that that formula is copied. And then I'm going to come over here to A12. And enter totals. I'm also going to enter that same heading up here in E5.
Now, if I click on the other worksheets in the group, you can see that all of the sheets have those same changes made in it. As long as you click on sheets within the group, your group will remain intact and you can do more changes to it. So let's look at some other formatting. All right, we could go here to cell A1, and we're going to make that bold. Then we're going to change the font to Courier New. And we're going to change the color of the text to dark blue text to lighter 40%. Then we're going to go to A12. We are going to hit the indent two times. Next we're going to select two non-adjacent ranges. We want A, 2, and 3. A, 6 through 12. And B, Five through E5. We want to hit the bold. We'll bold all of those. Next we're going to select the range B6 through D6 and B12 through D12 and we're going to use the accounting format We want to get rid of the decimal places, so we'll decrease those twice. And then E6 through 12, we're going to go ahead and do accounting format. Again, decreasing the decimals. In, we will then format the numbers in B7 through D11 in the comma format and decrease those decimals. We're going to take cell A1 through E1 and merge and center. And then we're going to take A2 through E2 and merge and center. Next I'm going to take B five through E five and place a bottom border. And I'm also going to take B eleven through E eleven and place a bottom border under there. 
Then you can click on A1 and now you can see some of the formatting that's been done. If you scroll between the four worksheets that you've been working with, you can see that those in fact have all been updated. And again, as long as you only click on worksheets within the group, your group will remain intact. When you're done formatting and you don't want the group any longer, simply click on a worksheet that is not in the group. When you do that, the new worksheet becomes active and you'll notice the word group is no longer there. So I clicked on our documentation worksheet because that was not part of our group. In the next video, we're going to look at creating a summary worksheet and then using that worksheet to reference cells in another, form, in another worksheet within formulas.